the president of Twist Image, digital marketing agency, and I am an author, blogger, and podcaster. My first book, Six Pixels of Separation, came out in 2009, and I just published a new book called Control-Alt-Delete. What is Control-Alt-Delete all about? So it's about these five movements that have fundamentally changed business forever that most brands are doing nothing about. And it was sort of a fun provocation, but then I realized that if that's all it is, it would probably be great, but not great enough because we as individuals have to know how to bring ourselves to work every day in that new environment. So I wound up writing a book in two sections. Section one is called Reboot Business and section two is called Reboot You. So it's all about how to be more uh, valuable, employable, important in that, in that environment. Uh, what I'm excited about is all this technology is a form of augmentation. So how do we use this stuff to make us better so that the work we're doing is more meaningful and more valuable? There will be automation. I think it's a big concern for global economies. But I do think that what technology will truly bring is the augmentation, which we've actually seen with things like the internet and mobile. So those are the sort of areas I'm tackling with. And in general, still, I think marketers and brands and how they connect with consumers is still as complex and crazy as ever. So I'm sure I'll be somewhere in that, in that general playing field. I was at an event with Patrick Pichette, who's the CFO from Google, and one of his old Bell Cohort cards was like, so what's it like at Google, and like, what, you know, how's your work-life balance? And without missing a beat, the guy immediately said, you don't take this job for work-life balance. And I sort of like, was like, oh, like, that's a crazy thing. And I was talking to him over dinner, and he talked about this idea of blend. And it's something I really sort of took deeply, because I'd been doing it, but I didn't really have a word for it. And blend is like, well, I have this event in France, I'm gonna tag on a couple of days and do family stuff. Or it's four in the afternoon, I'm gonna go see my kids, and then I'll work later at night. And just sort of creating more of a blend. So for me, I look at it as a, a stool. Stool has three legs to it. One of them is my family and my friends. One of them is my community, uh, national, international, and local. And then one of them is just professional. And I try and make sure that it, you know, if it's a stool, it's gotta be balanced. And so how those legs are doing, I try and just self-correct along the way. Most people struggle with that and it's not always perfect. I don't get it right every time. But I think because I'm doing the things I think I was meant to do, that that balance makes it a lot easier. In the book, I call it the squiggle. It's like one of the things I realized early on is that most interesting careers, your career, my career, people we admire, they don't have that sort of linear career that goes at like a 45 degree angle. It's very squiggly, it goes up and down, it goes in circles, some days it spikes, some days it spikes in the opposite direction. For me, it was really about understanding what it, what's at the core. And for me, the core was always media, communications, marketing. And so whichever industry I was in, whether it was the music industry or public relations or technology, I was always trying to make sure that I was focusing on that. Um, and then for me also, it was about being able to, to leverage things like the fact that I love to read and then express it. So the fact that I could do critical thinking and use a blog or use critical thinking and do Twitter and you can do critical thinking with Twitter um, and Facebook and platforms like that where that sort of self-expression enabled me to connect to other people who were like-minded and that like-mindedness created a momentum that I don't think I would have ever, ever been able to really capture within one organization or just with my peers. So that sort of digital extension became really powerful for me. I think I'm, I'm a person that people think immediately like, oh, this content is scary or this is freaking me out. But I think when you really dig down, even the new book, Control of the Lead, it's like reboot your business, reboot your life, your future depends on it. It sounds crazy, but it really is. It's a book about opportunity. And I think that if I can either show people opportunities or bring opportunities to the businesses that I work with, that's, that, that'd be a good tombstone.